Many thanks for joining us on AN24 News Round. Here are the major headlines. Lekki Shutans, CNN is desperate, says Alai Mohammed. Sanwo Oluto unveiled 8,230 bed space hostel in Lasso. And US to distribute 6.4 million doses of COVID 19 vaccine in one week. The news in details after this break. The Lagos State Security Trust Fund has trained 330 officials of the Rapid Response Squad on post-traumatic stress disorder, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, and bleeding control. The training which held on Governor Road allows Ikeja was part of the quarterly training for the RRS officials for them to save lives on the road during emergencies. LSSDF Executive Secretary Dr. Abdurazak Balogun appealed to Lagosians to continue to support the police for the officials to discharge their duties effectively. Balogun said the training was to ensure that the officials as first responders know the basic steps to saving life and be able to stabilize victims before the arrival of medical teams. RRS Commander Tunji Diso, Deputy Commissioner of Police, said policing is about giving service to members of the public, adding that saving lives is part of policing. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has accused Cable Network News, CNN, of desperation over its, over its second report on the Lekki Tollgate Plaza. The CNN had on Tuesday released a follow-up video on their investigations of the October 20th Lekki Tollgate shootings. The new video showed protesters running as soldiers opened fire on them at the Lekki Tollgate. It also featured Commander 81 Division Brigadier General Ahmed Taiwo's testimony before the Lagos Judicial Panel, where he said that soldiers took live ammunition to the target. The minister, when he appeared on a news channel on Wednesday, he said CNN was desperate as the reports lacked credibility. He further accused the America-based news network of publishing the story without contacting the federal government for its own side and basing their stories and videos sourced on social media. The federal government of Nigeria and the People Democratic Republic of Algeria have concluded plans to discuss bilateral and multilateral issues affecting both countries. The conclusion followed the planned visit of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, Sabri Bukadun, to Abuja. The spokesman, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ferdinand Nwui, in a statement said, the Algerian foreign minister will arrive at Abuja on Wednesday on an official visit where the discussion will take place. The governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sanwolu, is set to unveil an 8,230 capacity bed space hostel at the Lagos State University last year during the investiture of Chancellor Award of Directorate Degrees, Conferment of Honorary Doctorates and Distinguished Professor on Thursday, December 17th, as part of activities marking the 24th Convocation Ceremony of the institution. Lasso Coordinator Center for Information, Press and Public Relations, Mr. Ademola Adekoya, said that the Convocation Ceremonies will run from Thursday, December 10th to Friday, December 18th, 2020. Adekoya also noted that the convocation, a hybrid program, will hold both physically and virtually to allow only invited graduates and guests at the physical events, while others will join virtually via shared links by the, provided by the university. And finally, on the news, the United States of America is set to distribute 6.4 million doses of the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine in the first week after it is cleared for emergency use, which is likely next month, officials said Tuesday. A committee of the Food and Drug Administration meets on December 10 to decide whether to greenlight the medicine which the U.S. confronted by soaring numbers of deaths and new cases. Latest figures on Tuesday show that the country had recorded a total of 259,000 600 COVID-19 deaths and 12.5 million cases, with over 2,000 deaths, 167,000 new cases in just the last 24 hours. General Gustave Perna, Chief Operations Officer for the government's Operation Warp Speed, told reporters that some 40 million doses of vaccine would be available by the end of December. The figures include another vaccine developed by Moderna and the National Institutes for Health, which announced 
some preliminary efficacy results last week and is also close to applying for emergency approval. Vaccination will begin in retirement homes within 48 hours of the emergency approval, Health Secretary Alex Azar said. He noted that the government had partnered with CVS Health for the retirement home programs. And with that, we've come to the end of the news on AN24 TV. Thank you for watching.